What's up Cloud Gamers? In today's video, we're going to be showcasing Cloud Gaming running on the Absolute. Don't forget guys, this device is only $199, $200. So if you guys were interested in this device, I'm put a link in the description as to where you can get this. But let's showcase Cloud Gaming actually running on this device. So we'll start with GeForce Now. We'll test out a game like Cyberpunk 2077 and showcase what this looks like running GFN platform. All right, so this is Cyberpunk 27 running GFN, and something you notice that this device does a good job taking advantage of the 1080p display. And again, with GFN, this being a cloud gaming service, you don't have to worry about the hardware, right? This is all running in the cloud. So you're able to get this beautiful RTX 4080 running on this device. And as you can see, this looks really good, and Cyberpunk runs really well. But something I want to mention about this device is every once in a while there is a drift and this is the second unit that they are sending me. So I don't know if this is an issue, but it's very rare that it happens, but just want to highlight that. But as you can see, Cyberpunk on GFN runs really well, taking advantage of this 1080p display. And again, I can right there, you see, I did not shoot, but it shot by itself. Again, just want to highlight that. But again, something to mention is that this actually works and it works really well. And something you hear me state multiple times is this device is only 200 bucks, right? If you compare this to the G Cloud where that's 300, right? This is so much cheaper and you do get similar experience as well. But yeah, just want to highlight GFN running on this device. So next I want to highlight Xbox Cloud Gaming running on this device and showcase this off as well. And the game that I like to test with Xbox Cloud Gaming is for the Horizon 5. So we're going to get right into that. And again, you see when it comes to Cloud Gaming, this device does a great job handling Xbox Cloud Gaming. 1080p screen, this device takes advantage of it. It runs really smooth, but yeah, still need to play this game. I keep saying that I've been in the same spot since this game released, but this game's always fun. It's always a good game to test out in Xbox Cloud Gaming. But again, just want to give you guys a look, show you guys that this actually runs pretty well on this platform as well. You hardly notice any latency with this and don't mind my driving. <laughs> Not the best driver, but yeah, this is pretty pretty smooth in this on this device as well and again i can't stress this enough if you guys are looking for a different alternative for the g cloud especially because of the pricing of the g cloud 199 with this device you cannot go wrong with it as you can see with xbox cloud gaming here runs it pretty well pretty smooth all right so next we're going to test a platform like boosteroid see how that runs in here we have an update for it, so we're going to update it. All right, so we're going to go to a game like Marvel Spider-Man. We're going to hit install and play here. We're going to get right into this. All right, so here we go. We have Spider-Man running on the Boosteroid platform. And something you notice with Boosteroid and this device is that, for some reason, Boosteroid has vibration. So as he's swinging through New York right here, Boosteroid and the Absolute is vibrating. It's pretty neat because it's the only device so far that I've seen with vibration. So again, just want to highlight this and showcase this off on the platform. But if you're looking for a good way to play Sony games, Cloud Gaming, Boosteroid has most of the Sony games. So again, you can play this, you can play Days Gone, you can play Dead Stranding. So again, shout outs to them for being consistent with Sony's game again, God of War. So you guys know that was in GFN, but it was taken down. You can use this platform to play God of War as well. But again, just want to highlight this, showcase it off running. And as you see, hardly any latency with this game running on this device. But yeah, this is Spider-Man running on the Absolute with Boosteroid. All right, so the next platform that I want to showcase here is Shadow PC. And I've been having some memory issues with Shadow PC installing games on it. But nonetheless, I did still want to highlight this cloud game platform running on this device because with Shadow PC, it turns this device into a Windows device. So if you guys own this device, and if you guys were looking for a way to get Windows on this device, this is one of the best ways to do it. All right, so with that update, we do have Shadow PC now running on this device. And something you notice, again, this is full Windows on your Absolute. So you can come here, you can browse the internet, you can play Steam games on here as well. 
And so, yeah, just want to highlight this. If you guys were looking for a good way to get Windows onto your Absolute, here it is. And it runs pretty, pretty well. Again, because I'm having issues uh, downloading games on this device and showcasing it off, I'm not going to do that. Again, I have Star Wars Fallen Jedi here. But, yeah, I'm not going to do that right now. But just want to highlight this, show you guys that there's a way to get Windows on to your absolute device all right fellas so that is it that is my cloud gaming showcase on this device what are your thoughts does this device interest you guys for only 200 dollars? i think it's a great deal there's still things that i believe absolute still needs to fix like the random drifts that happens every once in a while but again if you thought the g cloud was really expensive with 350 dollars for 199 this does pretty much the same thing with a cheaper price point iCloud Gamers, what are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments below. Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace out.